I truly can't believe what's been happening recently with Nintendo, and some of their IPs just completely getting revived and listening to fans is one of the greatest things that we could have ever asked for. And Paper Mario fans have been begging Nintendo since Sticker Star to go back to the original formula. And out of a miracle, Nintendo said, you know what, let's go back and remade what you guys love the most, which is Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. This still feels like a dream and next month we'll be able to play this dream which is so crazy but Nintendo is continuing to do the right thing. And recently it seemed as if they were trying to really figure out what it is that fans love about the Mario RPGs. I told you guys about a week ago Nintendo released a brand new poll talking about Mario RPGs and they were even bringing up things like Mario and Luigi and talking about what aspects do we love the most about those games. So it seems as if almost Nintendo is really interested in bringing back some classic Mario RPGs. RPGs, even Mario RPG, figure out what they want to do with the future of these franchises. Well, there's been a new poll that actually dropped, and at first it was only for a select few, and a lot of people couldn't really access this poll unless you got invited to take the poll via an email, which was completely random. And after fan demand, Nintendo decided to officially drop the poll for everyone to fill out. Unfortunately, once I figured this out, the poll was already down. So yes, right now you cannot take the poll. But they dropped a link allowing people to jump on and take the poll for Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door and answer some questions that were pretty interesting for the future of the series. Thankfully, Reese on YouTube, being a huge Paper Mario fan, was able to record all the questions in a YouTube video. So if you want to watch through and read through every single one of them, check out his channel linked down below. And I'm going to show some of the questions that he posted. Now it starts off by saying, please select up to three favorite video game genres from the list below. And it has shooters, traditional games, RPGs, strategy games, puzzle games, adventure games, the whole lot. Just like a whole list of different genres of games, which is pretty interesting. It then proceeds to ask how familiar we are with role-playing games. Uh, and obviously, some people may not be that familiar as some of us who's grown up playing some of these Mario RPGs. Then they give you a list of different video game series that you've played before, which don't really necessarily have anything to do with Paper Mario. A lot of them are RPGs, so maybe they're trying to see which RPGs are, you know, the most loved that they could also influence with the Paper Mario game. Then it asks, which of the video games have you played on Nintendo Switch? And it's just tons of different Mario games, including Sparks of Hope, Mario RPG, and Origami King. And then of course it moves on to the good stuff, like have you played Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door before today? But then it asks some basic mainline questions like do you know anything about Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door? Who told you about Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door? Um, what's the information that you do know about it? All that stuff. They also want to know how interested you are in it and the reasons that you want to buy Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And a lot of these options are really good options, you know, in order to click that could resort to why people like this game. One says I played past Paper Mario games, one says I love this battle mechanic, I like the single player, I like the story plot, and these are reasons why people like Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Now there's tons of other little information about why you want to play this game, but this one is kind of interesting. It asks which character do you like the most, and it has like all the partners, even side characters like Rock the Hawk, which is crazy, Hooktail, Grotus the main antagonist, like it, it, it's kind of a weird poll question. But it's clearly showing that Nintendo wants to know this information for some reason. Maybe it's for a future Paper Mario game and partner designs and what people like the most as their partners, whether they're like Nintendo Mario enemies or, you know, unique looking characters like Vivian. It's hard to say. It could just be for promotion, but the game comes out in literally just like a month. So this is kind of weird to have a poll about this a month before the game releases just to promote a specific character to get more views. I really feel like this is a question for the future, which is very interesting to me. And the rest is just some basic questions about how often you play video games a week and what consoles do you play video games on and what's hilarious about this is the Wii U is literally not an option and like every single other console is. Like even the 360 and PS3 are options but the Wii U isn't, which is weird. It's like Nintendo knows it just sucked. Now this means a whole lot. You might think it's just a poll but it actually means a lot to Paper Mario fans because it looked like Nintendo was stuck in this new era of Paper Mario and even they have come out and said that they wanted to keep Paper Mario with enemies and characters that are familiar so that means no unique characters, no unique toads or dressed up toads or anything like that and also they wanted to keep the battle system evolving to something new and different each time and everybody kept complaining saying we just want a basic battle system, we just want unique and interesting characters and worlds and it looks like Nintendo is finally doing that. And it really sucks because you could see that after Super Paper Mario, Nintendo 
Nintendo was going to go back to more of a traditional Paper Mario experience akin to those of 64 and the Thousand Year Door. And to have a really good Paper Mario experience like that on the 3DS would have been amazing. We could see partners, more unique boss battles, and even certain enemies make a return from Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door and even very unique looking backdrops. So it's very evident that Nintendo was going to go with a more traditional Paper Mario experience, but decided to ultimately change it, which just kind of stinks, and it led us into a series of pretty mediocre Paper Mario games, with three more installments that were just not like Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door or Paper Mario 64. With every new installment, you could see it slowly trying to get back to how it was in the past, but just not quite there. You had very bland worlds, no unique characters, everybody was just toads, and there was no partners or unique bosses or anything along those lines, yeah, it was just Paper Mario with the soul sucked out of it. And fans have just been trying for so long to get this through Nintendo's head. They're just saying, look, we would like to have partners and being able to level them up, and it also adds to the story, because the story in Sticker Star and Color Splash are just not good at all. They're very straightforward and very basic, and these characters can help build the story a lot better. So it kind of works as a two-in-one, and Nintendo just wasn't doing it. The battle system was just horrendous. There was no leveling up, and in fact, all you had to do was collect stickers or cards and then just whack enemies with them. And you didn't even have to fight enemies. You could literally just push your way to the end of each area, which, let me also remind you, the areas were once again very boring. Your typical grass, water, desert, jungle, like you've seen a hundred times already. Now, I will say Origami King got very, very, very close to giving us an original experience again. The worlds were actually fun and a little unique compared to what we're used to, and even though there weren't the partners that we were looking for, we did have some temporary partner characters that built to the story a little bit more than usual. Now the battle system did ditch away all the things and the stickers and the cards and instead went with more of a battle grid which you had to solve a little puzzle in order to defeat enemies, and this actually wasn't terrible. It's still not a turn-based RPG that we were hoping for, uh, but still, it's a lot better of a battle system than we've ever had to endure with Color Splash and Sticker Star. But even though we technically didn't have partners and most of the characters were still Toads, we could see somewhat of a change that looked like it was starting to get back or at least a little closer than we used to, and then Nintendo came out and pretty much just said, yeah, we're not going back to the old Paper Mario, and the internet blew up and absolutely raged over that fact and said Nintendo is truly trying to kill off the Paper Mario franchise. And I guess since then, Nintendo's heard our arguments. They've heard our rage and they understand exactly where we're coming from, it seems like. Because not only are we getting back the old Paper Mario, we're literally going back to an old Paper Mario. They are completely remaking Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, a lot of people's favorite in the series, and I could not be happier. If anything, this shows me that they are trying to get back to the drawing board. What made Paper Mario so good in the first place? The characters, the worlds, the enemies, the bosses, the battle system. There's so much that makes Paper Mario Paper Mario, and it seems like maybe Nintendo's realizing that the only way we can truly experience this again is to go back and see what made it great originally. And to see this game remade from the ground up gives me so much hope for a potential sequel, a true sequel, to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. This poll is just even more evidence that Nintendo truly cares about the future of the franchise and they realize that it's a big part of Mario and Nintendo and that they want to make sure that their next installment is something that fans are undoubtedly going to love. And I would be very shocked if Nintendo went back to some of their same things they've been doing with recent Paper Marios and not back to how it used to be on the 64 and on the GameCube with the thousand year door but thank you guys so much for tuning in today let me know what you think about this poll and about them going back to thousand year door are you excited for the game next month and also are you excited for the future of the series let me know in the comments down below and make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out and like always i'll see you all on the next one see you guys